Welcome back to Smoke Your Ribs. I'm Russ Jones. I am a 2020 ambassador for Reynolds Wrap. And in today's video, I'm going to show you a very quick and easy side dish that will go with any of your barbecues, your backyard cookouts, your camping trips. We're going to be utilizing the non-stick Reynolds Wrap in this recipe. I'm going to show you how to do it right after this. So I promised you a quick and easy side dish. What I'm making is a bacon jalapeno cheddar cheese stuffed baked potato. I'm gonna start with these jalapeno peppers right here. I'm going to uh, remove the ends of these. I'm simply just gonna cut these down the center. And I'm gonna take and remove the seeds, remove the pith. And the easiest way I've found to do this is just take a spoon and you just want to scrape it straight out. There you go. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do all three of these, and we're just going to put these off to the side. I'll bring you right back. We're going to chop up some bacon. So I'm wanting to create kind of like fried bacon bits. All right, I'm going to take this chopped bacon. We're going to transfer that into this cast iron skillet. I've got this over a medium heat. And we're just going to fry this just like you'd fry any other bacon. So I've got four big bacon potatoes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this core right here. And we're going to go dead center as possible anyway. And I'm just going to hollow this out. We'll just continue to work this. I'll pull it out every now and then to make sure I'm not going all the way through. Keep it as straight as possible. You don't want to come out your sides. We did wash and scrub the potatoes prior to doing this. So I think you got the idea. I'll bring you back here momentarily. So I've removed quite a bit of the potato out of these potatoes, as you can see right here. So I'm gonna incorporate that back into the stuffing that's going in this. We're gonna take these pieces and as you can see, they're more or less spiralized. We're just gonna take and cut these into pieces like this. I'm going to reserve a little bit of this cheese because I've got another way I'm going to do this last potato. So we're just going to add this cheese in. We've got jalapenos going in. And there again, I'm going to reserve back just a touch. That right there. And the same thing with the bacon. And I'm going to reserve that last little bit. All we're going to do is just mix this together. With my dry hand, I've got a Cajun spice that I actually put together myself. It smells pretty good. So we're just going to season this up. This is going to season the bulk of the potato. Should give it a really good flavor. All right, so it's time to stuff them. I've got a wood spoon here. And I'm just going to drop in as much as I can. Just want to stuff it all the way to the end here. Go ahead and press that in good with your fingers. And as you can see, it will take a little bit more. 
So now we're going to wrap them up with the Reynolds Wrap non-stick foil. I don't know if you've ever used this or not, but I would highly recommend it. There's so many uses for this. If you're doing any kind of casserole, if you're doing enchiladas, if you're doing a mac and cheese, layer your casserole dish with this first. Whatever it is you're cooking will not stick to the bottom. It's going to come right up. And it's also handy on things that you wrap that would typically stick, such as a cheese that's in these potatoes. So I'm going to pull a piece big enough for a potato. And so you know, the dull side, that's your non-stick side. Your shiny side goes towards the outside. And we're just going to drizzle a little bit of oil on this. And all this really is for is give the salt and the pepper something to stick to. But I'm going to take my dry hand, apply a little salt, a little black pepper. Do the other side. Just like that. Take and wrap this tightly in the foil. Fold your ends real tightly. I'm going to get these other two wrapped up. Then I'm going to show you on the fourth one a little bit different twist you can do for, let's say, a camp out for breakfast. You take one egg. I've just cracked it on the side. Drop it in a bowl. I want to give this a quick whisk. Now to that, we're going to pour the rest of this bacon, the jalapeno, and the cheese. All right, so I got my last and final potato. I want to put a flat bottom on this. I didn't go all the way through. So as you can see, I got a flat bottom. I pretty much just want to stand that up. And we're just going to attempt to get all this in there. I'll tell you what, that was just a perfect amount. I'm sure this will expand on the inside. But I mean, that really worked out well. I've got my heat source over here. We're going to be cooking indirect. We're going to lay these potatoes right back here over the cool zone. Let's see if we can get that one to stand up, behave itself. It's doing good. And we put the lid on. I'm running this kettle grilled at around 375 you can go 375 400 you can go 350 in about one hour i'm going to do a probe test on these potatoes to check for tenderness once i'm satisfied with that we'll be back and cut one of these open all right our potatoes are done i'm going to take and put one right here and the way i have determined that you may see this hole right here this is where i just penetrated all the way through it sitting wood super tender and uh, even though it's got predominantly a lot of filling in it it should be done. This is the cheese, the potato, bacon, and jalapeno. And all I want to do is unwrap this, and it's still piping hot. Oh, yeah. See there? Man, that just retained everything beautifully. All right, so let's cut into these. All right, I'm going to cut into the egg first right down the middle. Tell me that wouldn't be great on a camping trip. Have these pre-made right before you go, do them the next morning, keep them cold of course. All right, here we go, let's lay this one open. Oh, look at all that cheesy goodness. Extra potato in there. These look fantastic. Now you might have noticed I did not season the one with the egg totally slipped my mind so here's our seasoning a little bit of that Cajun seasoning I put together not much just a little now on this potato 
I'm gonna go on with a little bit of sour cream. So there's only one real way to find out how we done with that, and that's just to take a bite. I think I'm gonna try this one with the egg. We're just gonna cut it in half to begin with. Look at that. Mm. Well, I think that turned out perfect. The eggs are not overdone. They're nice and set. They're still tender. They're fluffy. Potatoes done perfectly. A lot of good seasoning is going on. Fantastic. All right, let's go in for a bite of the other one. And what I like about this one, if you'll notice right here, some of that cheese has turned to like that hard, crispy cheese right on the end. I love that stuff. Kind of created a plug for it. Mmm. Give that a try. I should have grabbed a little bit more of that sour cream. There we go. The cheese, jalapeno, bacon, definitely working on that potato. Easy to do, like I said, good side dish for any barbecue. I want to thank my sponsor once again, Reynolds Rep. I hope you, if you're not already, try some of their products. Fantastic stuff, the non-stick Reynolds Rep. You can thank me later on that one. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, smoke your ribs.